Alrighty guys, what is up? Welcome back to Hydrogenir with Lone Debater 7. And today we're going to be showing you what to spend your first 600, 700 coins on in order to get yourself set up so you can make money relatively quickly. Oh, here's one that glitched out. Cool. Sometimes these will glitch out and fly all over the fucking place so you lose them, so we'll just process that real quick. Why not, right? Might as well. Start off the video right. Let's, let's get some money. But I gr did some grinding meaning i did the bucket pan to get gold and iron nugget harvesting thing for a while and i got 694 hydro hydro coins so that took me uh, i would say maybe 30 ish minutes maybe a little longer to gather all that up and i have purchased all of the stuff that i'm going to need in order to kind of progress to the next level so what we're going to do is we're going to dig down to the bedrock layer of this area and then we're going to set up a water pipe to automatically fill that <clears throat> and then we've got an improved shovel so we can fill faster because you take the improved shovel is basically the basic shovel but instead of moving one this moves one this one moves two so it only takes two scoops of the improved shovel to fill a bucket whereas the basic takes four um, I got some foundation so I can build a staircase down to the bedrock. I got a furnace and a crucible. So those two go together like that. So we can melt up some ore into ingots. And I did buy a bar cast, I thought. Yep, it's just glitched out. So I bought this bar cast as well. So this will allow us to turn the raw ore that we gather between these two into bars which sell for more and then we could potentially sell them on a stock exchange so as far as tools go i bought an improved shovel and i bought a pickaxe i bought the pickaxe so we can dig down a little bit easier um because that just destroys the terrain as opposed to digging it up into clumps that you have to deal with so that's good i bought a bunch of pipe and an intake pipe and all that stuff uh, to set up the water automation so we'll cover that in just a minute first let's dig our hole so I've started a little bit down to this area I've dug with just the shovel and kind of gathered and converted into golden iron, but the idea now, I'm just trying to keep this as enclosed as possible. Like if I can keep most of this underneath the surface, that would be f fantastic. That way I don't have to later come back through and uh, like cover up a big ass hole in the ground right so that would be good um so that's going in the right direction i think four will get us all the way there eventually so this is the bedrock right here i'm clicking on this area where that where our rectangle is and it won't mine down any farther so that is bedrock um what we can do we might be able to fit one more foundation in which is why i bought this many you don't have to do this either i just find that it's convenient to be able to get in and out of your mind i'm going to move our improved shovel down here <clears throat> and then i did take the pick up here there is one more thing i kind of want to do with the pick i want to clear out a working area for us so uh, let's clear the stairs a little bit better we can cool so this is all bedrock, great, that's fantastic. Yes, this is kind of wasteful because the resources down here is typically, are typically worth gathering and converting into material. But I want some working room so we can build out our secondary thing, which is gonna be where we bring in our water pipe. So I'm thinking we'll maybe set the water up like right here. So we're gonna dig just straight up till we poke a hole and then this is where our water pan is going to go is right there <clears throat> drop the pickaxe we'll leave that down here too for the time being anyway set that down i think we can get out yeah we can cool i'm going to take our pan down and the reason why i'm taking the pan down first is so i can test to make sure that where i place my water it will fill up this pan for us so that's not super great placement here 
We're gonna have to move some earth around. Place that there. I could put foundations down here too, I suppose. I just don't want to spend any more money if I don't have to. And you don't really have to. You just gotta kinda play with some of the dirt, get it all built up like this. So there's a flatter area to lay this down on. And I don't want the shovel there, really. Because that's where I'm going to be placing the pan. Um, so, yeah. Sometimes the way inventory stuff works... So there is an unstuck thing if you ever get stuck. Just click that, it teleports you. Um, so that's pretty handy. If you're new, you may not know that exists. And yeah, that's a great way to get unstuck. Uh, so let's try that again. Try that. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. So now we're going to go set up the water pipe. So that's step one. Dig down to bedrock and then find get a little area set up where you want to put your water pan, which is right there. Then you come up to the top level and you set up your water pipe. So we're going to take an intake pipe. We're going to align it with this hole as best we can. So it should be about here. Put it in. You left click to place it in the world and this will actually start collecting water. And you use the R key, can turn it like that. So there we go, we got that. Now for me, I'm ultimately going to try and use this water pipe for a hydro truck to refill our, fill our truck. Um, because we're not going to do this forever, like eventually we're going to switch over and be a little bit more clever with our automation. But for right now, this is perfect. I'm just going to take this up a little bit. Cool. do something like that because it doesn't necessarily matter how high up the water is falling from um, as long as it's falling at the right place we'll be good so there's our valve we can turn that off so water isn't splashing the entire time oh that opened it close perfect okay so now we're just going to do some straightaways and i think this is just a straight shot i think i aligned it properly hopefully and it is getting dark you can buy a bed to skip the day night cycle I ran out of money, uh, so sorry about that. It'll get a little bit dark here for a minute. but um, So it does look like we need a little bit more pipe. Uh, we've got one pipe right here. So that would do it. Uh, maybe if we put this elbow on. It looks like this ended up being like slightly off. Let's just try that and see if it's long enough. If not... Yeah, we're going to have to put a straight piece on the end of that. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> let's go take... Took our pan down here, huh? Uh, let's take that nugget, and we're going to go sell that real quick. And I left the rest of my cash over at the shop because I figured we're going to want to buy stuff with it. Um, so we'll go sell this nugget, and hopefully this is enough to, like get us what we need. If not, we're going to have to do a little bit more. Yeah, it's three coins. Okay. Kind of figured it wouldn't be much. Iron's not worth all that much, especially when it's just a nugget, but that's okay. <clears throat> Hopefully we have enough for one more piece of pipe. Oh yeah, we do. So there we go. One more piece of pipe. Perfect. So it basically takes 700 coins to get all the blocks that I have shown off and all the tools and all that stuff. So bear that in mind. You need to, you know, do the shitty manual harvesting for about 700 coins. Is that going through? No. And this isn't even straight. Okay, fine. We need to redo this. So maybe what we'll do is as opposed to doing it from the bottom, we'll do it from the top. So our pan needs to go right here. Okay, that'll work. So we've got a random gaping hole now, which kind of sucks, but you know what? It's okay. Not the end of the world. So we need our pan like right there. It'll fill up now when we put it underneath there. Same thing with buckets and stuff. So if you don't want water in something, do not place it underneath this uh, because it will get water inside of it. So this is kind of annoying because you get the little splashy sound effect or whatever. Um, while you're kind of going along and whatnot, but 
It's alright. I'm just building up a little bit of a platform for this. So I can place it right there. And perf... I think that's pretty much perfect. Like... So this will catch the water right there. Perfect. Okay. I think that is perfect. So now, what we can do... Uh, let's take this real quick because there is this jagged piece. We can shovel straight into that. So it's a lot faster. It's only one click and you don't have to walk. And then, you take your brush. Brush right here. And brush it up. And then it automatically refills with water. So this is like stage one automation in this game. You automate your water, filling this pan up. You get better uh, gathering tools and the improved shovel. So you can, you know, gather more with each scoop. Um, you mine down to the very bottom layer of dirt on your little area. Whether that's the starter one or a different one, it doesn't matter. The dirt farther down has better stuff in it. And you basically are going to shovel dirt into this pan and use the brush and build up a shit ton of stuff. What I would suggest and what I'm going to do ultimately is we're going to sort all this into its various things. Uh, in order to do that effectively, you kind of need... Uh, you need a pan for the iron, you need a pan for the gold, you need a pan for the shards, and a pan for gems. And you might end up getting a piece of corundium ore, which is the third ore type. It's only available in lower area dirt, so it has a chance to spawn down here. It's very low, though, so you might have that as well. So we need to get, uh, what is that, five pans set up uh, down here so we can sort this. Uh, so like, what we'll do is we'll dig... And fill this up and brush and get a bunch of stuff built up and then we'll go through sort all of it then we'll take it up to the smelter which actually we could bring the smelter down here too now that i think of it might as well kinda so we can place this like there maybe just break that for a sec and basically what you do with that is you take the crucible that was sitting on top of it and place it inside. So I take this crucible, drop it in there. There's stuff in the way, so let's just grab the pickaxe real quick and widen this out so we can actually do what we want to. Um, that should do pretty good because we're also gonna need the ingot cast, but you put the crucible in like that. Obviously, you gotta fill it up with ore. It'll heat up and then it will smelt whatever nuggets into a bar. You can also put bars in there and combine them into bigger size bars if you want. Uh, that's also an option. I'm going to go ahead and place that guy down like right there. That's decent-ish. Um, there. That might be a little bit better, so it'll sit a little bit flatter. All right, whatever. Good enough. So you melt the stuff in the crucible on top of that furnace. Once it melts down, there will be like a little sound effect, like something bubbling over. You pour that inside of this ingot cask, and then it will cool into a bar. The bars will sell more than the nuggets. You can also craft with the bars, but we don't have an anvil or blacksmith hammer quite yet, so we can't. Uh, that's kind of the next step in this process, is to get the blacksmithing stuff so we can start turning our gold, gemstones, and iron into items that sell for a lot more. Um, so we'll get to that probably in the next episode. We'll kind of cover on how to process your gems, how to craft items, those types of things. Because it's pretty basic. That's pretty early game stuff, all things considered. Once we show that off, I'll probably be grinding for a little bit. Meaning I'm going to be working on gathering up a bunch of resources. That way we can start moving away from having to use our shovel and pan down here to gather resources to make money but instead we can automate the collection we can automate the sorting uh, you can technically automate the smelting and stuff that's a little bit farther down the road for us but we're going to try to automate a bunch of stuff and kind of give you some guidelines on how to go about automating things because there are some pretty cool things you can do in this game you can gather a bunch of iron and gold and shards and everything like that so basically everything in this dirt you can have generating automatically indefinitely as long as you're supplying it with water um so it's pretty cool we'll definitely get to that in this series at some point not sure as far as what episode 
number it's going to be yet. So, sorry about that. But if you enjoyed the episode today, be sure to like, comment, subscribe as always. And until next time, this has been Lone Debater 7, and we will see ya.